Good morning. Welcome to Ali of the Rockies Ash Wednesday service. Pope Benedict said, the world offers you comfort, but you are not made for comfort. You were made for greatness. During Ash Wednesday and during Lent, we are challenged to become great, not great in the sense that the world sees as great, but great in spirit, great in heart, great in our generosity, in our love for each other, in our love for God. Loving God, as we begin Lent, help us to grow in our relationship with you. May our acts of self-giving and sacrifice during Lent lead us to empty ourselves and welcome you into our hearts, minds, and soul. Amen. A reading from the book of Joel. Return to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Tear your hearts, not your garments, and return to the Lord your God. For gracious and merciful is he slow to anger, rich in kindness, and relenting in mercy. The word of the Lord. The response to the psalm is, Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor, sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of practicing your piety before others in order to be seen by them, for then you have no reward from your Father in heaven. So whenever you give charity, do not sound a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, so that they may be praised by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you give charity, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing so that your charity may be done in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. When you are praying, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask him. And whenever you fast, do not look dismal, like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces, so as to show others that they are fasting. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that your fasting may be seen, not by others, but by your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we receive ashes. What do ashes represent? Usually you get ash after something has been burned and all its essence seems to have disappeared. So it represents death, the end of all things, even decay, and the brutal reality of our mortal existence. However, the ashes are also a promise of new life or resurrection. Ashes teach us humility, and humility is the ability to see the reality around us and find the courage to change. The world offers us comfort, security, a numb mediocrity that doesn't challenge us. Christ calls us to be great, to step out in faith, to let go of the ashes of this world and take a risk, to hunger for justice, to thirst for the divine. This is true humility. Let's reflect on our actions and thoughts. 
the worship follows God's social status, material possessions, and social media. Do I ignore certain people? Do I express gratitude? Do I offer to help at home? Do I value the life and the well-being of self and others? Do I respect my body as the temple of the Holy Spirit? Do I avoid using people for my own selfish desires? In sorrow for our sins and with the desire to do God's will, let us pray in the words that Jesus taught us together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let these ashes be a sign that we are turning away from sin and that we are ready to live a new life with Jesus. Instill in us clean hearts and bring us ever closer to you. Open our hearts to the peace of your healing. Now in your classes, please come forward to receive the ashes at the direction of your teacher. Let us pray. May God bless us with the strength and courage to turn away from sin and empower us to be true to our vocation as the light of the world. May everlasting God lead us to everlasting life. Amen. And may the Lord bless us in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and remain in the peace of Christ.